welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated so here is the updated solution for this lab so first of all just simply login with your credentials and once you're done with this just simply click on the task number one like this and from here just simply copy this name just copy that come back over here just simply search over here and then click over here wait for a second click on create cluster and from here as you can see compute engine just simply click on this create now as you can see we have to change the cluster name so just simply scroll down copy this name like this replace over here now what we have to do we have to just simply change the region and zone so for me the region is us east one and the zone is us east one d so i'm going to choose that just choose like this way and the zone is already chosen for me so i'm not going to make any changes now once you're done with all these changes now what you have to do just simply click on this configure node okay now as you can see for manager node we had to choose e2 standard 4 and for the worker node we had to choose e2 standard 2 so as you can see manager node just simply click over here and then choose e2 as a series now for the machine type just simply choose e2 standard 4 because they mentioned in the live instruction page now for me the worker node is e2 standard 2 so just simply scroll down and as you can see worker node just simply click over here then click over here and from here as a machine type just choose e2 standard 2 once you're done with all this configuration just simply click on this create now wait for a couple of seconds and it's done now just simply click on this jobs then click on the submit jobs now here you can see region we have to just simply change the region as given on the lab instruction page for that just simply scroll down and as you can see region so for me it's given us east one so i'm going to choose that like this way now as you can see it's loading and once it's done now if you just simply click over here you can see you can choose your cluster if it's not available over here just refresh the page okay now what you do we have to just change the job type so for me the job type is spark so i'm going to choose spark the second option like this way okay now what we have to do we have to just simply change the main class so just copy this thing carefully paste over here now just simply copy this jar file like this way and just simply paste over here now as you can see arguments is thousand so i'm going to just simply type thousand over here like this okay once you're done with all this configuration just simply click on this submit wait for a second now and its status is starting now what we have to do we have to just simply wait for three to four minutes and after that the status will be success and we will done with this lab
and as you can see status is succeed now if we just simply come back over here and click on the check my progress for both the tasks you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated over here just wait for one to two seconds and you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys